The simplest way to do this is to go down to the shapes and get yourself a circle. You want to get yourself a color and then you want to hold shift and drag it out to get yourself a nice even circle. Now, in order for this to work, it must be a shape. Otherwise, you won't be able to do it. So as you can see, because we've created a shape, we can easily go to the text tool. When we hover over the shape, you'll notice you have two options. You'll have a circle and you'll have a squiggly line or curved line. This one is to write inside the shape. And then the second one is to write on the actual path itself. So if we left click, as you can see, we've got ourselves some text. This is how. Now let's say you wanted it on the inside rather than on the outside. All you do is hold control and then left click and drag this on the inside like so. If you wanted to, you can even control the size of it. So if we hold control, move this along, as you can see, so I'm getting this bit. Normally you'll have two points, for example, the X and the zero. So this is the starting point, And then this is the one that you can control. Now, what if your image is different and you need a custom shape? For example, your image is much more different. It's not in a circle. It has to follow a certain path. Well, to do that, all you gotta do is go to the pen tool, create yourself the path that you want it to follow. So for example, let's make it a little bit more wavy. And there we go. Same again, go to the text tool, make sure the line appears, left click, and then it will pretty much follow this. And there we go. It now follows this path. And the great thing about this is you can keep on customizing it. So for example, if you're not happy with it, you can always go to the pen tool and then move the point or add some points. You can even take away some of them. 